Okay, good morning everyone. So it's Monday, the 30th of March. Yes, another week of uh, live streaming of fun and games in English. And we can see today we've got the big easy sign because it's uh, easy English today. Um, and let's have a look at what we're doing today. Um, well, uh, in a few moments we're going to be playing uh, a memory game. Ooh, what's that? Uh, well, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, and of course today we will have a uh, Kahoot. And uh, today's Kahoot is all about this ING. Now, we have a special name in English for that. It's called the gerund, but don't worry about that. Just the ING. You know, lots of words you can put ING on. Uh, so we're going to have a fun, uh, quite easy kahoot uh, with that. Uh, and, of course, uh, for the last uh, maybe 10 minutes or so, we'll be looking at some other online Easter tips things that you can be doing to study and have fun in English at home, uh, certainly over the Easter holiday. Yeah, it's very close now, yeah? Not long till the Easter holidays. Ooh. But uh, before we start, let's just see who's joined in our uh, live chat. Um, okay, Ella's just joined. Uh, morning to you. And um, Tony Lee, that's Leah, isn't it? Yes. Uh, hi to you. And um, so, guys, I uh, hope you had a good weekend. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's time to study again, isn't it? Time to uh, practice our great English skills. So, uh, OK, let's start with memory game. Now, memory game. What does memory mean? OK, now, um, let's go to Google Translate, because uh, for today, this is a very important part for our first game memory okay let's just have a listen memory 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 I just love pressing that button memory memory okay uh, what does it mean well you've got the in the ch traditional Chinese here what well, let's have let me just have a listen see if I can say it Ji. Ooh, what Ji. 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 Oh. Gee, oh, that's a really difficult word for me to say. Gee, gee, oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, guys, if I've made a really bad job of saying that, but uh, that is memory. And of course, when we are studying um, studying English or any anything really, having a good memory is a good thing. Yeah. Um, now, with all these fantastic things like Google Translate we can get lots of help uh, with words and learning words and finding out what they mean. Uh, but you still need to remember the words, right? You still need to learn them, uh, learn how to say them, learn how to write them and spell them. Uh, so today we're going to start with a little memory game. So it's very simple. Um, basically, I'm going to uh, show you a uh, part of a video and you're going to watch it. It's very fast. You're going to hear uh, some English words and you need to just try and remember them. And guys, if you're thinking, oh, maybe maybe I can I can I can write them down. Da, da, da. Uh, well, maybe, but maybe it's too fast for you to write down all the words. You need to just try and listen and remember. OK, so I'll play the video. Uh, Look and listen to the words, and then we'll see how many of the words you manage to remember, and you can put them into the live chat. Okay, now before we do that, though, let's just see if anyone else uh, has joined. Okay, and oh, Oscar's uh, saying yes, that is uh, Putanwa, the uh, translation there. Yes, Google Translate does not uh, seem to do Cantonese yet. Uh, so, yeah, this is a, a, actually a, it's a problem for uh, people in Hong Kong studying English, I think, that, uh, you know, Cantonese is, is what we call a, a dialect. Uh, so, yeah, if it's in Putonwa, or as in English we say Mandarin, um, if you know that, hopefully you can recognise the uh, character, uh, that, or the characters that we've got here. Uh, I'm hoping that in Cantonese 
maybe it's something similar, yeah? So anyway, yes, this is memory, and this is going to be our memory game. So, uh, guys, uh, let's just check in the live chat. Are you ready? Okay, Hayden's just joined, uh, Alexa's just joined, and uh, Ong Long Ching, that's, um, that's Luke, I think. Is that Luke in 1B? I'm not sure. Anyway, good morning to you. Right then. Okay, guys, let's see how good your memories are. Now, first of all, let me just get myself out of the way before we start. And good morning to Chantel, who's just joined us in the uh, live chat. Okay, guys, so we've got this video. Now, remember, guys, it's very fast. Okay, it's very fast. Let's see how many words you can remember. So just look at the screen, look at the words, and see how many you can remember. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Body parts. Eye, nose, mouth, arm, knee, foot, hair, ear, neck, hand, leg and let's stop there okay so it was body parts okay guys I'm going to go into the live stream now and we're going to see uh, how good you are with memory how many did you get of those body part words and uh, I mean you've got a bit of help there yeah you've got to remember we're talking about body parts yeah so how many did we get? Let's see if you can. Did you get all of them? Now, let's just, let me just tell you. Uh, I have a list of the words here, <laughs> uh, and actually there were eleven words in that very short video. Eleven words. Can you remember all of them? Let's go to the live chat and see if any of you can. My goodness, Malvina, that was fast. How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got nine, ten. You got 10. Now we're looking for 11. We're looking for 11. Malvina, that was so fast. Well done. Uh, I am impressed. Very good indeed. Uh, okay, Oscar's coming in with. Okay, he's got eyes, nose, mouth, arms, knee, foot, hair, ear, neck, hand, leg. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the 11. I think we've got it. Okay, Samantha's coming. She's got, she remembers hair. Okay, it reminds me, I, I need to get a haircut. Um, okay, Alexia got eye. Okay, and Oscar's uh, resent those words in. Okay, Chantel got hair. All right. So, now that one was uh, actually a bit easy because if you just think of your body and you think of your head, you can just think, I've oh, got ears, eyes mouth, nose, uh, hair, uh, legs, arms, and these kinds of things. Uh, Ella's coming in with, I think she's got all of them there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's got ten. Okay. And Mason, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mason's got them all. Okay. All right. Okay, and Chantel's got arms in there as well. Okay, Abigail, I think she's got all of them. And uh, Leah, he's saying hair and eye, and he's got the emoji for the eye there. So, that was quite, uh, that was quite good, guys. That was very fast. Jimmy's coming in with feet, okay. All right, I'll tell you what, let me give you a slightly more difficult one, okay? So, we'll do one more. Uh, let's do clothes, okay? So, guys, uh, just get yourselves ready. You're going to see uh, lots of words with clothes, okay? Now, you can already start thinking about, okay, what, what kind of clothes, words for clothes in English do we have? But remember, you need to remember the words that you see about clothes in the video. Okay? All right, let's do it. 
see if we can get well see how many we can get on this one okay three two one go clothes clothes cap sunglasses t-shirt shorts scarf jumpers sweaters trousers shoes socks hat shirt skirt flip-flops coat dress boots Ooh. okay there's a lot there but how many can you remember so clothes Clothes, clothes, clothes. What did you get? And of course, for our body parts, we can just while you're uh, going in the live stream with that, we have eyes, nose, mouth, arms. I'll do this quietly actually, so you can remember the clothes words. Uh, knees, uh, foot, feet. What else do we get? Clothes, clothes, clothes. How many did you get? Let's go into the live chat. Okay. Well, Oscar's very fast coming in there with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine words. We've got cap, sunglasses, t shirt, shorts, socks, scarf, sweaters, trousers and shoes and oh I think Nathan's just joined what are we talking about he's asking uh, okay Nathan we are talking about uh, memory which is uh, learning and remembering uh, new words for example and we're just playing a quick game see how many words you guys could remember from the video and uh, oh man Yi from 2a in the live uh, chat has got a lot there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. And uh, Sang Ho Lam. Oh, Sang Ho Lam. Remind me your English name. 4B24. Who is that? I've forgotten your English name. Um, he's got t shirt, shoes, dress, and shirt. Oscar's coming in with a second list, and Malvina again is coming in with a huge list. How many has she got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16! Well, 17 if you say sweater as well as jumpers. 17. Oof. And Abigail is coming in with how many has she got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15! Well done, Ella! Oh, Ella's got a big list as well coming through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow, Ella. That's amazing. Okay, yes, and uh, I think all of those are in our video. Let's just go back and have a look at some of those words uh, that were in that one. Okay, uh, let's just have a... If we just pull that back. Okay, there we go. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll call it seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen. Now let me just check, did Ella get all of those? So cap, sunglasses, t-shirt, shorts, scarf, jumpers, sweaters, trousers, shoes, socks, and then here with the Rantarina, we've got hat, shirt, skirt, flip-flops coat, dress and boots. Did Ella get all of those? Let me just check. I think she did. Where is, okay, yep, yep, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, well, I think we give a big clap, a big round of applause to Ella. She 
My goodness, she got all 17 words. That's amazing. And lots of you got most of them. Wow, you guys, um, you guys uh, have very good memories. Oh, okay, and it's Marcus Sang Ho Lam. Hi, Marcus. Sorry, I sometimes do forget uh, your, you know, your Chinese name to English name. So good to have you on. All right, well, Ella, congratulations. I think we have to say that uh, you are the uh, student with the quickest. Uh, response and um, the most words, although Malvina, I have to check Malvina's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, Malvina also, so Ella and Malvina, and did Oscar get 17? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oscar got 16. Okay, so Ella and Malvina, well done to you guys. Yes, Andrea's saying 17. Whew. So, and uh, oh, good morning to uh, Keaton, who has just joined. All right, guys, now, memory. Memory, memory. How do you learn words? So we've just played a couple of quick games with body parts and then clothes, uh, remembering those words when you learn them. Um, well, one good way is to use flashcards. Now, I'm sure uh, a lot of you know what this word means, but basically, uh, when I was at school, we, we just used paper. And uh, let me just bring myself back in so uh, I can kind of show you that, you know, when I was at school, we didn't have computers because I'm uh, very old. Well, we had one computer, I think, maybe. Uh, but uh, basically, on one side... You, you write the word, maybe in Chinese, and then on the other side, you write it in English. And you can just kind of flip over like this, yeah? That's a flashcard. And you can buy them, small ones, from, uh, if you go to a shop, which is a stationery shop, which sells, you know, pencils, paper, things like that. You can buy little paper card flashcards. And these are very, very good for practicing getting your brain strong so that you learn lots of words. But of course, nowadays, you can also use your iPad or your phone or your computer to help you. Now, I am going to post this into our um, Google Classroom later. Um, it's a list of apps. You can see they're all flashcard kind of apps. Um, now, I actually... Uh, at school about two years ago, I, I downloaded the Chegg flashcards and they were very good. But I think they have changed them now and they're not so good. So the Chegg, you can maybe check those out, Chegg flashcards. But there's loads here. Um, you can see that there's loads of different apps you can use. Smart cards, flashcards, flashcards with cram, flashcards go. Uh, flashcards. Basically, uh, this is a great way to help you to remember new words. And as I say, if you've got your, you know, on one side, you've got it in English. On the other side, you have it in Chinese. Um, and you can just, you know, you can spend five minutes every day just trying to remember the new words that you learn uh, at school or with your uh, lessons. So I'll post that later into our Google Classroom. Um, but now I think it's time for our Kahoot. Which is, uh, most of you I know, come on, you love to play the Kahoot, so let's do it. Now, uh, let me just again move myself out of the way so uh, you guys can see the whole screen. Now, gerund. <clears throat> okay, so today's, well, this week we have... Uh, all of our cahoots are about the gerund, G-E-R-U-N-D. What does that mean? Well, it just means I-N-G. So, let's have a look. There's the example. First question, we're going to give you the answer. <coughs> Excuse me. We say run. <coughs> we say run. Running. Okay, so run becomes running when we add on the IEG and look at the spelling here we have to actually add a second N 
So this is really a quiz about spelling. Using the ing, do you need to put in another letter? Or do you just put in ing? Again, this is kind of like a memory uh, activity because with ing's, um, the best thing to do is just remember how to spell them. Yeah, and of course we can see the yellow is the correct one for run. Run becomes running. And by the way, if anybody can give me a good sentence in English using the word running, uh, please uh, pop it into the live chat and we can have a look at your sentences there. So, this is what we're doing. Run to running. And with lots of other words as well. Okay, let's load up. And the number today is... Dun, dun, dun... One one seven five one three. Okay, guys, give you two minutes to get yourselves in. And while we do that, yeah, let's just pop that in there in the live chat. Gerund just equals ing. That's all it is. And Alexa has already come in with I am running. Yes. So we often use. ING uh, with now talking about things you are doing. What are you doing now? And of course, we could say we are playing Kahoot. So that's it guys, that's all the gerund is, it's just I-N-G. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to start in a moment. Um, Sophia in the live chat, I am running in the park. Very nice example. So this ING, we have um, ooh, we've got 60 players in this morning. We've got a lot today. And um, okay, we've got 68 watching. So most of you are in. So let's give you 10 more seconds and then we'll start. <clears throat> Hey guys, five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, remember if you join the game late, this number 117513, you will see it in the bottom left of your screen down here. Let's do it, Gerund. So, of course, the first question, I gave you the answer. 
run, if we use the ing, the spelling is the yellow one. R-U-N-N-I-N-G. So uh, I fully expect all of you guys to get the correct answer because it's yellow, 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 running, R-U-N-N-I-N-G. Four of you got it wrong. Oh my goodness. Okay, running. Yes, run to running, double up with two ends. Now later we might uh, talk about the rules of this. Like when do you add a second letter and when do you not? Well, there is a kind of simple rule for that. And that actually, if you do know the rule, you can tell us all in the live chat. But we'll talk about that later. Let's just go through the questions first. And Lily, Tony, Fuzzy Wombat 59, who's that? Uh, Cheris and Shireen, you are our top five at the moment. Okay, dance. So we want to make it into dancing. Dancing. How do you spell dancing? Okay, guys, and just a reminder in the uh, live chat. Um, uh, everyone's been using the live chat uh, really nicely uh, the last few weeks, actually. But I can see we're getting uh, more and more messages where there is just an emoji. Just an emoji. Now, guys, remember the live chat is a place where you can practice your English. And uh, one or two emojis is fine. I also use emojis sometimes, but if you just send messages which are emojis, then that's it. Um, it doesn't really do anything, it doesn't help us, yeah? We just have a, a live chat full of emojis, and uh, yeah, it's not very helpful. So guys, if you want to say something in the live chat, remember, please do. Uh, try it in English, and uh, just one or two emojis sometimes is okay. All right, guys. Now, of course, dancing. So we dropped the E. And of course, this is one of our rules, yeah? When we when we change to ING, we uh, we drop the, <coughs> excuse me, we drop the E. All right, let's have a look at the board. How are we doing? Oh, Serena is up and Ranty M. Who's that? Abigail Carson without N and Tony from 1C. Okay, you guys in our top five at the moment. Next word is jump. How do you spell jumping? Okay, so uh, Mason is uh, Ranty M.
so which one is it guys? It is indeed blue. So you just add ing onto jump. Now again, we'll talk about the rules later, but uh, I do recommend just trying to uh, remember, remember, remember. Use your memory for spelling and just jump, add ing. Okay, Jaden's moved up to top spot. Will he stay there? Let's find out. Ooh, laugh. Ha 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 ha! Laugh. So, laughing. How do we spell it? Laughing. Wow, in the live chat, Oscar is saying he is Carson without N. Because if you take away the N from Carson, it is Carso, and Carso is an anagram of my name, Oscar. Wow. Very nice, Oscar. Oh, your new name, Carso. Okay guys, of course laughing, we just add ing and that is it. Alright, has this changed our leaderboard? Ooh, Serena, you've jumped up into top spot. Jaden's gone down a bit. Um, but uh, same people in the top five. Let's try another one. Take. Haha. -ha. Take. How do you spell taking? Now, of course, this is this is one of the easiest rules of the uh, ing, isn't it? Just look at the e, e, e. What do you do with this e? Do you leave it in? Do you take it out? Taking. Of course, so this is the one rule for ING, isn't it? It's so easy to remember. If your word finishes or ends in E, you just drop it, move it out, and then add ING. So take with the E, drop the E, plus ING. Uh, I think we can all agree that is super, super easy to remember. So taking, no E. And Serena. Now, I think we, uh, last week Serena was doing very well in the cahoots. Uh, oh, I can see Alpha has uh, got back into the uh, top five. One of our cahoot kings. Okay, put. Ah, put. Putting. So, maybe this one's a bit more difficult. Do we... Uh, do we put an extra T in? Uh, do we add an E? What? Or do we just leave it P-U-T plus I-N-G? Oh. Well, I don't think... We, we're not going to put an extra E in, right? It's definitely not yellow. But what do we do? Extra T? Or no extra T? Hmm.
<clears throat> on in the live chat, Marcus, uh, Marcus So has joined us. Uh, yes, Marcus made uh, a great video helping students get into uh, Zoom. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, Marcus, but uh, thank you for that. That was fantastic. Okay, the answer for put, put is putting. So we double. We go from one T to two T's. Why? Now, we'll talk about this rule later. Uh, this one um, can be a little bit difficult, but um, the idea is quite easy, but can be difficult. But yeah, putting, we have two T's. If you didn't know that, write it down and remember it. Okay, who's at the top? Still Serena. Oh, not much change. No change in the top five. Let's try question seven. Smile. Well, guys, if you were listening before when we were talking about take, you'll be looking at smile and you'll be looking at that E, right? And you'll be saying, hmm, well, with ING, do we want the E? Hmm. Well, you choose which one's smiling. It is, of course, the red one. So drop the E, yeah, minus the E, add ING, smiling. So that was that super easy rule to remember. Okay, has it changed things? Mm, oh, Tony has jumped up into the top five. Right then, question eight, hide. Oh, well, this surely is easy now, because again, look, we've got the E at the end. So what are we going to do? Keep it? Drop it? Hide. Hiding. Just in the live chat, I see uh, Andrea from uh, 2C put a nice message in for everyone. Keep healthy and strong. Yes, and she's got a few emojis there. The hand sanitizer. The, uh, the doctor's kind of heart. And... Uh, what's that? Chill dog. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, the answer, of course, is... Blue, drop the E, drop the E, yeah, minus the E plus I-N-G, that easy rule to remember, hiding, right, any change, dun dun dun, oh, Alex from 1B has now jumped into fifth place, so there's some movement down around fifth place, okay, make, oh, it's getting too easy now, isn't it, look, it's got an E, it's got an E on the end, what are you going to do, keep it or drop it? Making.
Of course, making, we drop the E and then plus ING. So, and of course, most of you got that, so that's great. Has it changed things? Uh, no. Top five still the same? Okay, let's uh, try question 10. Eat. So, eating. Eating. How do you spell it? Uh, Nathan's asking, who's Marcus? Marcus from 4B. So Nathan, that's Marcus, uh, student 22 from uh, class 4B. And Nathan, yeah, you don't have to repeat the question again and again. All right. Anyway, the answer, of course, is eating. Just add I-N-G, plus I-N-G. Ah, no, lots of you, of course, 16 of you went for double, double T. Ah, no. Ooh, now this is a problem. We will talk about this in a moment at the end. Okay. Ooh, Ranty M is in top spot. And uh, Abigail, uh, Oscar, Alex and Tony is still in the top five. Question 11. Forget. So, forgetting, are we uh, going with two T's, uh, or an E, or just add I-N-G? Mm. What do you think? Okay, so this word forget, we do, we do need to add another T. So it's T-T-I-N-G. And 31 got it, but we can see quite a lot. We're not sure about this one. Yes, this is much more difficult. So forgetting. Don't forget to put two T's in forgetting. Okay, all right. How's the top five? Oh, Abigail's uh, moved into top spot. And, oh, Samantha from 1A, you have uh, got into the top five. Good for you. Now, question 12. Oh, what? Letting? It's already ING. Ah. We're going in reverse now, are we? So, letting, we go back to the normal word. Is it L E T E? Is it L E T T? Or is it just L-E-T? Letting. And in the live chat, yes, Nathan, we will put, uh, I'll show you where uh, Marcus's video is uh, later. He's actually, he's put in one of the rules that we can use uh, in the live chat. He's saying CVC into CVCC-ing. And uh, we'll look at what that means uh, 
very soon because we're nearly finished. But yes, let, L-E-T. Okay. Now then, let's see as that changed things. Uh, not really. Question 13. We're nearly at the end. Call. So, calling. So which one is it guys? Calling. It is indeed just add ing. Definitely don't want to put an extra L. I have L L L. Wow. That's a bit crazy. Okay, what's the uh, what's the score here? Abigail's still on top. Oh, Lily and Ella have uh, moved into our top five, and we're getting very close to the end. Two more questions. Okay, smell. Smell. Smelling. Of course, it is just put on ing. We definitely don't want to have three L's. Uh, I don't think there's any English words that have three of the same letter together, right? Um, but let's see. Uh, oh, Yvette. Yvette, well done. You have jumped up into our top five. So there is... A lot of movement around 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th place. So this could be uh, quite exciting. The last question. Is it going to be an easy one? Let's have a look. Ooh, bother. Now that might be a new word, but don't worry if it's a new word. Just think about what looks right. Bothering. Are you going to add an extra E and then ING? Are you going to add another H, H, H? Or are you just going to put in ING? Bother. Bothering. And obviously the green one. I don't think anyone is going to press this word, which is id hid u o i u d h k o b b Bothering, of course, we just add ing, and yes, most of you got that. All right, let's have a look who the winners are before we have a quick look at the rules of this ing. Third place, all correct, Alex from 1B, well done. Second place, Ranty M, and first place, Abigail, congratulations. And Ella and Yvette also got 
the top five spots so well done to you guys okay fantastic now let's just uh, go back into our um, uh, classroom screen here because okay guys uh, just very quickly um, some of you have already kind of put in the live chat some of the the, the rules and actually uh, Lily from 2B uh, maybe about 10 minutes ago or so she put in this uh, she said vowels a e i o u okay now these words are very important yes uh, when we think about ing okay because vowels uh, these five letters uh, we have different ways to say them now for example a you can say a or you can say it a so you've got like a long a and a short a you've got a long e and a short e you've got a long i and a short i You've got a long O and a short O, and a long U and a short A. Uh. And this is very important for our ING. Now, if we look um, at this word, hop, which means stand on one leg. That's what it means, to hop. Hop, stand on one leg. But look at the O. It's very short. Yeah, and because it's short, we're going to go with a double P. Okay, same we would say with stop. Stopping, we're going to double up because the O is a very short sound. So when you have these like kind of uh, CVC words, or sometimes they're a bit longer, like stop, or of course, shop. Oops. You are doubling the letters. And we had one in the quiz. We had let, if you remember, yeah, let. Now look at that E. E, E, L, E, E, let. It's a very short E. And because it's short, we're going to double the T. Okay? So that is uh, really one of the important rules to remember. And of course, the other one, the easy one, <clears throat> and we're going to go not with hop, we're going to go with hope, E. So, of course, whenever it finishes with E, we say bye-bye to the E. We do not go PP, though. We just add ING. There's a long O sound. Ho, ho, O, hoping. Okay, guys. So, hoping. Drop the E, add ING. We also had make. Of course, same thing, drop the E, just add ING. Uh, that's how you do it. And of course, in the quiz today, we also had words like smell. Now, it already has two L's, of course. So we definitely don't want to put another L on. So we just add ING, okay? So these are the, the basic rules, uh, but again, guys, this morning we practiced at the start uh, with the memory game and I think it's just good for you to have a strong brain and just remember, practice and remember as you learn these words for the spelling. All right guys, now uh, we've got uh, about 10 minutes left which is great because um, there's a couple of, <coughs> excuse me, there's a couple of uh, online tips that I would like to uh, tell you about. So maybe in the Easter holiday, you can take a look at these. Now, the first one today uh, I'm going to show you is Storyline Online. Okay, guys, what's this? Well, it's uh, you can see there's lots of uh, nice looking stories. And you've got people, uh, sometimes famous people. Well, I don't know how famous they are, but uh, I don't know who, who this guy is. Sean Astin, never heard of him. I don't know. But what book is he reading? A Bad Case of Stripes. Oh, OK. Uh, so there's loads of books which are read by people. So you can listen to the, the stories. Carla's Sandwich, OK, The Tooth. And so a lot of these uh, look like they're, they're not too difficult. 
these books. Uh, so I'm going to post this link into our Google Classroom, and uh, you can uh, tell me. Okay, all books. So this is all of them, is it? How many have we got? Oh, it's quite a lot. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of books. So this is a place where you can uh, listen to stories in English. Nice, fun stories. But again, uh, I'll post it in the Google Classroom, and then maybe tomorrow or this week, you can tell me is you know if you think it's a good place for us to go, or if you think it's not very good, uh, because it's important that you tell us what you think of these different places. But yeah, looks like there's uh, a lot of stories in there, so let's uh, let's copy that right now to our uh, Google Classroom. And uh, so this is called uh, Storyline Online. Storyline Online. Whoops. And let's pop that in. So if you go into our Google Classroom, you'll be able to find this uh, near the top. There it is. There's the first one. And then, of course, you can add a comment later and tell us if you think it's good any any good stories that you do listen to uh, you can maybe put the title in and just add your comments there right that's the first tip for things to do online uh, over the Easter from this week the second one ooh, have a look at this one this is for our creative students and we do have a lot of you guys who are creative students. Now, if I just go back into a Google Classroom and go down, um, quite a few of you have posted pictures. For example, uh, last week, I think that was Isabel, she made a, a bag and she posted the pictures. She made it, yeah? Look at this. And uh, Abigail also, uh, she posted some pictures uh, a few weeks ago, I think. Uh, she also made a bag. So I know there's uh, students out there who like to make things, you know, arts and crafts. Now this one, so this uh, place, Creative Bug. I don't know if it's good or not. Um, the website looks quite nice. There's some videos here showing you how to make things. Um, now, I think it says you've got a free trial, so what does this mean? Um, maybe you need to sign up uh, and you have a free trial for, or is that for one week? Or I'm not sure, but I don't know if you have to pay for it later, or so you tell me. Go in, have a look, creative bug, and uh, you can let me know what you think, okay? So I'm going to post that into our Google Classroom just here and so go back to the top so this is called creative bug so for you guys who like arts and crafts maybe something to do in the Easter holidays and uh, we'll post that in there there you go all right, guys, so there's two things that you can take a look at uh, later today or this week. Um, but uh, oh, Nathan's already put in, he says it's good, but no why. <laughs> OK, all right. Now, also in our Google Classroom, uh, guys, um, last week and over the weekend, Marcus, Marcus So from 4B, he made a video in Cantonese explaining how to use Zoom, how to get into Zoom, uh, how to download it on a phone if you're using a phone. There's loads of information in this video. Now, uh, Marcus, we just need to check. We, I think uh, we'll be calling your mum and dad today just to say, just to ask if it's okay if we can send this video to all the students in the school so that if there's any students who have problems using Zoom. They can watch your fantastic video uh, and they can learn how to do it on the computer or on the phone. So guys, it's in the Google Classroom now and we're gonna leave it there. Um, but probably uh, when I get uh, information from the school that it's okay, 
Uh, we will actually also post a link to this video to all the students in your uh, E-Class Junior um, accounts. And I think we will also put this link uh, on the uh, SMS homework message later this week as well. Okay, so Marcus, you did an absolutely brilliant job on that. Um, and hopefully your mum and dad says yes, <coughs> and then we can post it out to all the students. Uh, so this is for students or parents who had problems using Zoom. Okay, uh, thanks for that. Also, a quick shout out to Ron, if he's on. He posted uh, a video uh, the other day. Great video song, all about uh, learning to say the irregular verbs. Things like, you know, um, run, ran, uh, you know, all those ones which do not end in ED. This is brilliant, Ron. Thanks ever so much for that. Okay, guys, uh, it's 11 o'clock, time to finish. Uh, so we hope you've enjoyed that. Let me just check the live stream. And um, yes, uh, okay, Nathan from 4B. Uh, I agree. Uh, today, guys, um, a lot of uh, emojis coming in. Uh, remember, um, you can use emojis sometimes, but don't just use emojis only because it, it's no practice. We really want you to practice typing in messages, using a computer, using your English on a computer. Uh, so please, uh, if you're going to send a message into the live chat, uh, don't just use emojis or uh, for students who only use emojis, basically guys, what I have to do is uh, then I have to just go in and I have to uh, basically put you in a timer or take you off the live chat, okay? And that's how I, I do it. So guys, please remember, uh, most of you have been doing a great job using the live stream uh, every day. Uh, I'm very pleased uh, with uh, your contributions. You've been adding some great stuff in, but yes, emojis, occasionally, sometimes, with a message in English. That's what we want to see. All right, guys, time to go. We'll be back tomorrow with um, a uh, more difficult, but in the middle set of English activities. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.